Hello, welcome to my channel Honest Living. I am Samantha and I'm thrilled that you're here checking out my $5 Goodwill challenge for Easter and Spring. This challenge was put out by Hillary from My So Called Home and this is my second challenge I have been involved in and I'm excited so keep watching and you'll see what I have done for this new season. So I have to make a disclaimer, um, I am Australian and I live in Australia, in Adelaide, um, and it is not spring, we're actually going into autumn, so things are starting, not quite yet, but you know, starting to get cold rather than warming up as if in the Northern Hemisphere, which probably most of the people who do these type of challenges are Northern Hemisphere type of people. So um, I thought that I would embrace the more Easter side of this challenge rather than the spring side because it's just all messed up. So <laughs> keep watching and I will show you more of a, an Easter theme to my decor rather than a spring because that's just messing with my mind because it's not spring. So anyway, keep watching. <laughs> Boiling some eggs for my decorations, chopping up some red onion and some beetroot to help dye those eggs. I then added them to a pot, the pot of water, uh, two cups of water. Um, while that was boiling, I got some stickers ready. Um, and then here is the finished result. It's nice and red, really happy with the colour of it. Put the stickers of, and the words Jesus on the eggs. And then I added the eggs to the dye and I was just spooning um, the dye over trying to cover them because the, the liquid wasn't quite enough. I then gave up and dumped all the rest, the bits of food um, over them um, and sat it there for about three hours. And this is immediately afterwards. Unfortunately, the stickers fell off. Um, so that didn't work, that idea. Ooh, cupcakes. Um, and that's just a leftover. Uh, about an hour later though, the brown eggs didn't look so good, which was a bit disappointing. So, I probably, well, really I should have had white eggs, it probably would have uh, dyed better. Um, so really it's kind of a mottled colour. I decided to get some paint out and thought I might paint the words Jesus on. As you can see, painting is not my strong point. Um, I did, decided to do some marbling as well. Um, to try and get them more red, which kind of helped, kind of, um, sort of. Oh, biscuits. I've been busy baking as well. Um, yeah. A little bit disappointed how it turned out. Decided to get some nail polish and paint um, over the, uh, the words Jesus to try and make them sparkle a little bit more. Um, yeah, I think I really needed white eggs. Wow! Aren't they cool? And then I got um, the plate out to use. I got some foliage from the garden um, to start my decorating. This is the finished product, Jesus, with um, dyed eggs and marbled eggs and, well, a bit of a Pinterest kind of fail, but whatever. They kind of still make the point that I wanted. And here's to next time <laughs> learning from my mistakes. And anyway... <laughs> This is the final product. We've got my bar that is behind our couch, which we don't use as a bar. We use for toys behind, but up the top I use for decorating. And up here is my 2016 Goodwill $5 thrifting challenge um, Easter theme. Now let me show you what I got. This picture frame without the printable in it and this tall creamy coloured vase I got at the op shop and I paid four dollars for both of them and everything else that you can see um, I have either just used or created myself so I spent four dollars on this challenge so under the five dollars and I'm really happy with how this looks um, this is the first time I've ever decorated for Easter um, and I'm quite I'm quite impressed um, considering my limited crafting <laughs> so let's go over here to this picture frame um, it says I know that my Redeemer lives as, we, as Christians we celebrate um, Easter Jesus's 
um, death on the cross and his resurrection. So I wanted this printable um, because it just reminds us of why Easter is so important to us. Um, and I found that off Pinterest and I will leave um, a link to that below if that's something that you might be interested in. And then I stuck a, just over here, um, a little an Easter egg cutout just to kind of tie in the colour scheme. Um, the vase over here, that was the one I got at the op shop as well. Um, and then this clear one with um, these crosses I made from uh, twigs from our backyard and this used some twine to tie them together and some green foliage out from the garden. Not sure how long it will last. I might die in a couple of days, but I might just replace it. We've got plenty outside. Um, another printable from Pinterest, these Easter eggs. I just cut them out and just stuck them on with some blue tack and put some ribbon around and I'll leave that link down below as well. But I think that matches really nice with these bowls which have been up on here anyway because I really like how they tie in. We just go down here to my cushions and to my footrest. So still kind of going in with the, the theme I have going anyway. I'm um, just making it pop a little bit for Easter. <laughs> here is my Jesus eggs and well they didn't turn out how I liked but hey they still look okay um, and that's why I have this red candle over here and there's a little bit of red in the Redeemer Lives part of the printable so I think that ties in nicely. Um, with the candles here I put um, some candle holders inside just to um, bring the tea light candles up a little bit. I thought they were sitting too low um, and I didn't have a bigger, didn't have bigger candles. I've got some little pine nuts that I found in our garden holding those fake flowers and then there's another cross in there. Same with the, the vase at the back, another cross I made. I think I made three, six in total. Um, and then there's three like on the, uh, on the hill where Jesus um, was crucified, three, three crosses in that one. Um, just another candle there. And then this picture, which we've had for ages, years in fact, um, and it just talks about um, Jesus Christ, our King, how he rose again, conquered sin and death to bring hope and freedom. And I just thought that was sitting on our bookshelf, so I've just put that down to make it more of a centerpiece for Easter. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, thumbs up. I appreciate that so much. Subscribe, you know, you know the drill. And thanks, Hilary. Um, I really enjoyed this challenge and I will see you all in my next video. Uh, happy Easter. See you soon.